Okay, in this video I want to discuss how to find Q for any text you're looking at. And uh, so this is the text I'm going to use. Now I've got a couple pages like this. But if you're using this, uh, say, from a book or something or a magazine article, you should have quite a few pages. And you should be able to recognize that all the pages you have in this text that you're looking at are going to be with the same average line length. You see how these lines are all basically the same length? Except for, of course, the stump lines. But... Um, and they should have the same font, so the font shouldn't be switching around. So when you recognize that in the book you're looking at or the article you're looking at, then that's a good qual um, that's a good uh, book to practice speed reading on. Because you know if you find Q once, then you can really use it to track your timings well. Now Q is going to be for that book or that article the average number of words that article has per, or that book has per line. But the thing is, you cannot count Q like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. You know, and then down here, one, two, three, four, and say, well, then the average line has five words. Six plus four is ten divided by two, that's five. No, because these, these, um, these are different lengths of words, right? You need to find the average sized word. And in English, the average word is going to have five letters in it. So when we work with that idea, you realize that, you know, this word right here is not one word, really. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is really two words because the average word has five letters long. It's five letters in it. So this is really two words that you would have read. What you need to do to find Q is to actually count the letters in a line and then divide that by five. And that gives you the average number of words. But because these lines are all different sizes, you can tell some, you, by the white space in them and, and the different types of letters in them, they might have different letter counts. So you're going to have to find the average number of letters in a line, too. Now, this is how we'll do it. I'm going to take five lines. We're going to take this one and this line. And then I'll take three down here. Like, I'll take this one and I'll take this one down here and I'll take this one down here. Okay. Now I need full length lines and I need them to have the average amount of white space. The white space between the words in these lines looks about all the same. Here, this is a little too much, so I skipped over that line. This is a whole lot of white space between the words. So I'm not going to count that as a representative line to use in order to find Q. I certainly won't count these because these are stump lines. They don't even go all the way across. So when you find five average length lines that look like they have the same amount of white space between the words, Go ahead and count the symbols in each of those lines, or the letters. Let's go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. I skipped over the period. I would skip periods and apostrophes and commas and colons and semicolons. I would count dashes and hyphens and double tick quotation marks and numbers. I would count them all as symbols or letters. So that was 30 there. Let's count the next line. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. I skipped that one. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. 33 here. Now, in fact, I've already done the numbers. I've counted those two and three other lines down here, and this is what I've gotten. I got 30. 33, 31, 33, 32. So but what I want to do now is use all this to get the average number of symbols in a line. So to do that, you know, I've got to add these up and divide by 5, right? Because I counted 5 lines. If you want to count 10 lines to be really sure, then obviously you're going to have to divide by 10. But I add all these up, and in fact, I get 159. And then I divide that by 5, right? And I get 32.2. 32, .2, 32 remainder 1. Now I'm going to round down. So I'm just going to call that 32. Now it's important to remember that this is not the number of the, of the average words per line. No, 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 that's way too big. This is the average this is the number of average symbols. Excuse me. This is the number of symbols in an average line of this text. Okay? So how many words? Well, there are five symbols or five letters per word. Divide that by 5, you get 6.4. Round down. Now, if it were 6.6, .6, I'd round up to 7. But 6.4, I'd round down to 6. So Q for this text is 6. That means for every average line, 
in this text that goes from the left to the right margin, um, counting each word as only five letters long, the average line here is going to have six words. And that's Q. And I'll need that when I start counting how many lines I can read in a minute. 